hello and welcome back to my channel my name is denny if you're brand new thank you for stopping in if you're an oldie but goodie welcome back today i have a tag video for you guys specifically the eyeshadow palette tag i saw this roaming around in the youtube sphere and i figured i would jump on it i first saw it on bridget snyder's channel and I will link her below. And also, I saw it on another friend of mine's channel, which is H.O. The Great. And I figured, I love eyeshadow palettes. Why don't I show you some of these palettes? So, they're not so much questions, but things that I have to show. And it's 13 uh, different palettes. So, let's jump right into it. So, the first thing is, show us your newest palette. My newest palette is this one right here. I got it through a BoxyCharm. This is from Estates. And it's the Venice Fling by Bailey Sarin. And and actually, I never heard of her before, but I went onto her channel and I'm falling in love with her murder mystery Monday with makeup or I don't know what it's called, but it's one of those things. So this is the palette right there. It's such a beautiful palette. I haven't even touched it yet because I literally just got it a few days ago and I definitely see myself using this. I love all the colors inside of here. They just seem like a me palette. This is the Venice Fling, like I said, and yeah, newest one. Next item to show is your oldest palette and my oldest palette happens to be from Urban Decay and it's this one right here, the Book of Shadows. This right here opens up and there's a mirror and then there's all these little nice pop-up things. And then if you pull the little drawer out, right, you have your palette and I still have it with my brushes and the primer that came with it. I don't know why um, I leave these things in here, but this is that palette and it is nicely used. There are some dips in some of the shades, specifically Absentine. It's one that I use a lot, it uh, looks like. And then, um, yeah, just some dips around in other colors. But this is my oldest palette, and uh, this is probably not usable at the moment, but it's like memorabilia for me. It usually sits up there on my shelf because I, like, I was, it was a proud moment to buy like one of these Urban Decay palettes. They do not make this anymore because this is a very, very old palette. I think this is like at least 15 years old. Then the next one is show us your most expensive palette. And for me, this is my most expensive palette. It is the Norvina Collection, uh, the Volume 1, Palette 1. So this is it. And when you open it up, it has a gigantic mirror. I can never get these open right. It has a gigantic mirror, which I'm going to try to hide. And these are all the colors that come in here. It's, ooh, why did it do that? Okay. <gasps> no way. I broke a shadow. Oh no. So as I was there holding this, this broke off. And I have not really used this palette a whole lot. I'm going to try to salvage it and repress it because <laughs> that hurt my heart anyway um this one retailed for 63 dollars or something like that i'm not 100 percent sure and now i'm sad that i have one less shadow great okay we're gonna pick up from where we left off which is show your most affordable palette and that would be now that it's filled with a bunch of that other palette <laughs> this one right here from hard candy it's the earth vixen palette and i literally got this for one dollar at the dollar store so that is my most affordable palette i'm gonna try to be real gentle with the next ones because i don't want any more accidents to happen so then the next one is show us your everyday palette. And for me, it would have to be the So Jaded palette. This right here is from ColourPop. I absolutely love this palette for everyday use. It just has like just beautiful shades in there that are very usable for everyday use. And then you do have pops of color and glitter and things like that that you can, you know, jazz up if you like. So for me, it would have to be this one. This I've used a bunch of times and it's nicely loved you can um, tell by the glitter shades and things like that uh, this one got more love than a lot of other palettes that I own so uh, this definitely is an everyday palette the next one is show us your most colorful palette which is this one right here it's the electric by urban decay it's also what I have on my eyes right now uh, this is such a beautiful electric like neon type palette 
I love palettes with lots of color and this one fulfills all my fantasies. So uh, this one I actually have on. I have on uh, Chaos. I have on Gonzo. I have on Revolt. And I also have Fringe. I tried to put a little bit of slow burn on my inner corner. It did not work out. So yeah, I love how colorful this palette is. Next up is show us your smallest palette. And my smallest palette is this one right here from Cargo and is the Metallico Eyes. This is an itty bitty palette, but it has a lot of shades in here. It's all shimmery and this is kind of really old as well. I bought this such a long time ago in hopes to do fun, you know, holiday looks and then forgot all about it. So um, I'm gonna have to play with this one and just use it because I haven't. So maybe some looks with those colors sprinkled in are gonna be coming in the future. And then the next one is show us your largest palette. And this right here is my largest palette. It is the Glam Light Pizza Palette, which comes in a pizza box. And it's a pizza shaped palette. I love the packaging on this. Even though it's gaudy and big and gigantic, it just speaks to my heart because I love pizza. It comes with a gigantic mirror. It folds all the way back. It is beautiful. This is well loved. I use this a whole lot. Also, I have a code with them, which I'm going to put on the screen because I almost always forget that I have codes for things. So if you ever want to get something from Glamlight, I believe it is Gon's Girl. If not, it'll be on the screen. But yeah, you can get some stuff. And I actually want to get a few things from them. But this is really nice quality. So uh, if you ever want to see any swatches of any of these palettes, let me know and I'll fit them into my swatching Sundays because I'm definitely loving to do that. Uh, just let me know in the comments. Next is show us your palette with the best memories. I'm going to go with this one right here, which is the Ammo Palette by Urban Decay. This is so old. It's super loved. It's like very, very used. Uh, it's just one that just reminds me of, you know, fun times when I used to just do lots of makeup and just go out and uh, party with my friends and just have like glittery eyes. I just, I love glittery palettes. This does have a mirror on it. They do not make this one anymore uh, either, I don't think. I think they tried to do a new one, but it didn't work out. Also, I believe that the colors you can purchase singly. So um, this was just one that I really, really enjoyed. Uh, you can really tell that I use Polyester Bride a whole lot and Sin a whole lot. I feel like Sin is in like a lot of their palettes last call mildew shattered like they they all have dips in them like very good dips in them so um definitely have a lot of memories with this palette and uh i just can't get rid of them <laughs> and the next one is show us a palette that is worth the hype and for me i found this very very hard because i don't think there's any palette that stands out that's like been hyped up that you're like yes and then when you tried it, you're like, oh my God, it's amazing. But if I had to go with one, I would go with the Jackie Ina one just because it has very beautiful pigmentation. This is the Anastasia. It comes with the mirror. It folds back. And this is what the palette looks like on the inside. Things are just falling out. <laughs> uh hold that right there so um this one just has a really beautiful shades in it and they all are super pigmented and it just it works really nice so i think it's worth the hype if you are a deep skin tone person this is an amazing palette for you i've swatched this on a couple of my friends and their skin is way deeper than mine's and it just looks amazing definitely worth the hype i would recommend so this one, also the packaging is so beautiful on this. Like, come on now. <laughs> and then womp, 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 show us your palette that is not worth the hype. <laughs> and for me, I had to go with the Too Faced Peach Palette just because the packaging is beautiful and people were just like, peach this, peach that, peach everything. And this is what it looks like. It does have a mirror, so I'm going to cover it. But this is the palette. It smells delicious but these colors are just so like lackluster they are just plain bland um when they blend they just blend into each other and it just doesn't look like like you can't see any pigment in them and it's kind of like 
what did I put on my face? There's nothing. So for me, it has to be this one. It didn't have like, it didn't have that pop effect. And I like to have color that shows up. And I've tried, I've used this several different times and every time the look has been just like meh. So for me, this was not worth the hype. Just because it's peach, it wasn't a good enough palette for me. And the next one is show us your favorite palette from your favorite brand. For me, my favorite brand is Urban Decay. It's been my favorite brand for a long time. I have the most Urban Decay palettes um, in my collection. Uh, the second to that is Anastasia, but um, I definitely have a ton of them. And this right here has to be one of my favorite palettes. This one, I'm not even sure what it's called. I'm gonna have to find the name and put it down below. They do not sell it anymore. It does have a mirror. It does bend back and this is it. The reason why I chose this as my favorite palette is because of those bright shades. I don't know what it is. I just love bright shades and they just get me. They make me happy and it's what I want in my life. So um, this right here is one of my favorite palettes. I have tons of favorite palettes but the colorful ones definitely are by far the best to me just because I love the color payoff. And last but not least, it's your most used palette. And believe it or not, most used palette is a basic one. One that they don't even sell anymore. This one right here by NYX and it's the Mysterious Eyes. I haven't used this in years, um, to be honest, but it is the most dipped into and loved palette. It does have a mirror, that's why I'm covering. But you can see all of the dips in here. Like they it's well loved and it's the most used palette. It's the palette that has the most dips. I do alternate between a lot of different palettes. So it's hard for me to just stick to one palette and say, I'm just going to use this one continuously. It, it's really hard for me. I just have too many to do that. But you can totally see that I use this one a lot. So I really enjoyed doing this tag and just showing you some of my palettes. I am thinking of doing a palette collection video. Let me know down below if that's something that you want to see. I'm definitely gonna put that together. I feel like I need to do a part two to my one uh, because I've added a bunch of new things and I just want to show them. So uh, definitely wanna be doing that in the future. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up if you love palettes give it a thumbs up uh if you just like me give it a thumbs up go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done so already yep that red button and as always from my house to yours love ya